Come ride with me as I take a tour of Summerlin's 89144 zip code. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I'm taking a tour of Summerlin zip code 89144, which is part of the Summerlin North Association, which is only $50 a month, unless you live in a gated community and that HOA will be more. So I'm gonna be taking a tour of the 89144 zip code in the Summerlin North community and that entails the Canyons Village, the Crossing Village, and the Arbors Village. Summerlin North is one of the original communities here in Summerlin, and um, it's one of the older communities. However, it's one of the more established ones, which I like a lot. And in Summerlin North, we have the Pueblo, we have the Hills Village, the Hills South Village, the Trails Village, and of course now the Crossing, the Canyons, and the Arbors Village. Um, the zip codes for all three of those sections is 89128, 89134, and now 89144 is what we're gonna take a tour of. So the first village that we're gonna take a tour of is going to be the Canyons Village. And this village was developed in 1995. It's a 754 mixed use residential where there are some townhomes and condos. I am on town center right now, and of course there's construction. <laughs> now, in between the Canyons Village and the Crossing Village, to the right, there are some business centers, and that's why they call it the Crossing Business Center, where there's Capital One, there's Bank of America, lots of major corporations are located there. And then also to the right, we will be passing the Summerlin Hospital. Summerlin is well known for their roundabouts, especially in this part of the Summerlin area. There's a lot of roundabouts and it took me a very long time to get used to driving these roundabouts. <laughs> it was not easy getting used to them. So I'm actually gonna go over to the left. Hopefully you guys can see. Yes, that's working. I like to do my picture in picture. It's been quite some time since I've done a neighborhood drive through tour. Been a little busy lately. The real estate market has been crazy, especially in the Summerlin area. If you're looking to buy in the Summerlin area, then I am your agent because I have spent the last two and a half years extensively doing videos on Summerlin and also researching it. Plus, I've lived in the area for 11 years, so I should know something about Summerlin. Right now, we're at the roundabout and to the straight ahead, if you can see it, is the Summerlin Hospital. Gotta stop. I like these better than stop signs though. If you know me, I'm driving. <laughs> I don't like stop signs. So we're gonna take this little roundabout. Continuing straight would be Town Center or Canyon Run Drive. So the Canyons is more of an exclusive community. They do have some townhome slash condos but all the homes in this community are gated and some are gated, some are gated. And also they surround the TPC Las Vegas golf course. A lot of these homes are probably pretty high price in the million dollar range, if not higher, two million. I just passed on the TPC Las Vegas right now. And TPC, if you don't know what that is, is the Tournament Players Club, right? Right, let's see. So there's a lot of gated communities and I've done a full on video on the Canyons Village on my YouTube channel. It is a little old and I don't look the same now, but you know, people change in a year or two, right? Hair's grown out a little, changed the color. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's see if I can read some notes about the Canyons that I can give to you. So we're just gonna 
drive through the canyons and then next we'll go to the crossing village and then the arbor's village so see you on the flip side i forgot to mention actually um in this zip code 89144 or in this part of this tour summerlin actually has 89144 and then part of 89145. I am passing the uh, JW Marriott and then to the right is a new village or a new community called Mira Villa by Toll Brothers which is an exclusive townhome or condo community by Toll Brothers and that's the newest development that they have here in um, Summerlin North. Everything else is a little more established so to the left is JW Marriott you also have off of Rampart, you have the Suncoast Hotel and Casino, and then also the Rampart Hotel and Casino. So now I'm gonna go take a right on Rampart, get back onto Alta, and then drive up um, to the Canyons Village. And then right here, off of Rampart, you have Tivoli Village, which is a great shopping center, and then also Boca Park, which has wonderful, lots of restaurants, lots of, wonderful restaurants they have the cheesecake factory uh what else i can't think <laughs> and then to the left is angel park golf course but that's not really technically part of summerlin golf course and um so yeah so sit back let's keep on touring this awesome community oh to the right is actually suncoast casino and a lot of my clients when they come and visit me they like to stay at the suncoast casino which is nice it's a little more affordable but now they're starting to charge resort fees and like during the whole sea word pandemic when people were visiting the prices were a lot more reasonable but hey the economy's picking back up so you need to start making money somehow right <laughs> so let's see where i'm at still on rampart and right here is Ulta, right? I don't have my sunglasses on, which are prescription. I need to see. So yes, I'm gonna take a right right here on Ulta. So I would say this village or the 89144 zip code is from Rampart to the 215 and then between Charleston and the Summerlin Parkway. So it's a pretty big village. So the left is Queens Ridge, and a lot of people get it confused thinking it's part of Summerlin. It is not. It's actually part of Piccoli Ranch. Queens Ridge, when it was developed, is supposed to be on a golf course, a little more exclusive community. I don't even know if that golf course is still around. I don't think so. The Badlands Golf Course? Let me know in the comments if you know if that golf course is still <laughs> around. I don't think it is. There's a couple of communities that had some issues with the golf course and sucks majorly. I'm not going to get into it right now. So, side note, Queens Ridge is not part of Summerlin. It's part of Piccoli Ranch. I've done a video on Piccoli Ranch if you want to learn more. and Hualapai. I could take a right and go up. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Let me take a right. This will take me back up to the Summerlin Hospital just to show you all aspects of this village. golf course so a lot of these homes are on the golf course now if you want to buy a home on the golf course expect to pay a pretty penny for it because they are not cheap you know we pay for views and you know something to think about too when you're buying a home in Las Vegas is a lot of people say I don't like the cookie cutter I don't like the houses so close to each other you gotta understand that 
we live in a city. This is you know, over 2 million people and we are growing exponentially where we can't support the amount of people wanting to move here. So the houses, you know, we got to think of future building of when these houses are going to be developed. So of course they're a little tight together. Now, if you want a house with acreage, then you're going to pay some money for it. Or you're going to live in a part of town that's a lot older, there's no HOAs, and it may not be as nice as some of these master plan communities in the Las Vegas Valley. So now I'm getting back on Town Center Drive. To the left is the Canyons Village, and then to the right is the Crossings Village. I'm just going to see if I missed anything else that we may have missed driving around. And one thing I like about Summerlin is today's Monday, a little few cars around, but I like how the streets are a lot wider. Look how beautiful green it is. Um, I mean, it's just absolutely stunning. I love it. Let's take a left on Anasazi. It's a pretty big village. Nope, I don't want to go this way. Otherwise, I will be going in this community. Ooh, too bad. Hopefully it'll stay open and I can go drive in it. <laughs> and we can see, it's gated. Come on, take, go, 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 go. Did I make it? <laughs> I made it. I'm not afraid to take risks. All right, let's take a peek in this community. Let's go left because if we go straight then the sun will be hitting the camera. Uh, I didn't pay attention to what this subdivision is called but this is a gated community in the Canyons Village. I will move the camera a little to the right so you can see. Well that's not going to help. You really can't see those houses. You know, nothing really spectacular. Very well maintained yards. And actually, shockingly enough, all these yards have grass, which is pretty unusual for any home here in the valley. Let's see. That's a nice looking house right there. Like typical Summerlin homes, you know, especially the age since this was developed in 1995, they look like 95 type homes. It's nothing like, wow, oh my god, this is so exclusive as I thought it was. But I guess some of the homes in the Canyons Village are a little more affordable than the others that are closer to the golf course community. story the crow told me it's the only one he knows Early the morning sun he goes and like the wind he blows this is called talon point good to know oh across the way is the arbors let's see how much further we can go for the canyons village Visiting the Crossing Village, heading on Town Center, 
keep on going on Wallapai and these people, these things are scary sometimes. To the right is the Summerlin Hospital and the Crossing Village was developed in 1994 and it's about a 530 acre mixed use residential and commercial community, village. And there are several homes that are not gated and some of the homes are not gated and some are gated in this community. There are two parks in this village. We have the, gosh, what is it? The Crossing Park and the Oxford Park. So, you know, home prices, again, are, I would say, I can't say prices right now just because of the way the market's going. It's kind of crazy. Let's take a ride on Crestdale right here. Me and my crazy driving. It's a beautiful day out. Today is March 22nd. And I guess it's finally spring. It's been super windy out. So to the left and you can't see is the Crossing Park. I've done a video again on the Crossing Village. I may have already posted it as I went into the Crossing Village. Um, and that's one thing I like about Summerlin is each village has a, one or two major parks inside it on top of the little parks that are in the village. So there are about, I would say 250 parks total, if not more, in Summerlin. And a lot of them inside the trails, the walking trails, they have parks, which is really nice. Very family oriented, very community oriented, very exercise activity oriented. Obviously Summerlin has over 150 miles of trails. Now if I keep on going straight, I'm gonna land into the trails village, which I do not want. So let me just take a left here, which I'm on Covington Cross. To the right are condos in the Canyons Village. I mean, sorry, in the Crossing Village. This one's called Carlisle. And I also done a video, I don't know if I posted it yet or not, but I did a video on what is Summerlin North, what is Summerlin South, and what is Summerlin West, which entails all the villages, and it's pretty much like a timeline as to when each of these villages were developed and major like landmarks or major timeline as to when like the schools were developed and um, the hospital and the all that other stuff that was developed here in Summerlin. So now I'm back on Banbury Cross. Um, let's take a left because if I go right then I'm gonna land in the Arbor's Village. No GPS for me. I know where I'm going. go back on Crestdale. I'm going to pass the crossing park again. Like we are passing John Bonner Elementary School. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, when they develop the trail system, it goes in between each village. So you can go from one village to another village to another village by using the Summerlin trail system. And the way they designed the trail system is so that when kids were walking to school, they can just take the trails to school instead of taking any major streets, which I thought is pretty awesome. I mean, Summerlin is a well laid out, very thoughtful master plan community. Kudos to Howard Hughes Corporation uh, for developing this, you know, and we have been around for 30 years with another 20 more years to go. And I have no idea what this road is. I think this is town center. Yeah, it's town center. I need to go back up into the crossing village. So how it goes, it goes the canyons, the crossing, and then the arbors. Now arbors is a little bigger, it's probably bigger than both of them, so it, it kind of encroaches on the crossing village as well. So this is Anasazi, so I'm going to go back up on Anasazi, which it says right now at the sign that I'm in arbors village, which the left side is arbors, but 
the you know the right side is going to be the crossing so left arbors right crossing let's keep on keeping on let's keep on trucking if anyone knows where that is from comment down below To the right is Oxford Park, and that has a big softball field, and that encompasses all of the crossing, and again to the left is going to be the arbors, and I'll get into arbors in just a minute, I think once I get up to Far Hills, I do believe. And if you know anything about the Summerlin Village, especially now in Summerlin West, that's how they like to carry the villages traditionally is you know they go especially in Summerlin West where it goes the Vistas Village, the Paseos Village, Stonebridge Village. It just likes to go in order. So yeah this is Far Hills. West Hualapai now it turns into Far Hills. Now we're going to be approaching the Arbors Village and this village was developed in 1996. It's a little over 1200 acres with a mixed-use residential mainly um, single-family homes and condos. Now in this village we have Sig Roque um, middle school we have palo verde high school we have the what parks are here we have the arbors tennis and play park and what else sorry i need to use my notes college of southern nevada staten elementary school let's see what else the memorial leisure service community center and then the parks here the arbors tennis and play park treetop park etc etc so the far hills goes all the way up to the 215 and then we're just gonna just zigzag around just take it and you can tell i don't know if you can tell in the video that we're going up higher in elevation too uh i like the arbors village just because it's the bigger village and there's a little more amenities here and it is super close to downtown summerlin lots of shopping Red Rock um, Hotel and Casino, and Red Rock Canyon. Let's see, where am I at? Oh, I don't want to go this far, so I'm going to take a left on Sageberry right here. Hopefully the sound will turn out okay because the last time I did the same video tour, it sucked. So I have to redo it right now. So hopefully it's a little better this time. Uh, I just had a client buy a house, well, back in November, one of those houses over there. So see you on the flip side. Here we go. Take it to her. Just passing the Arbor's Tennis and Play Park. I like that. The Arborville. I'm going to take a right right here. I mean, Arbor's is really big. And school started, which is quite interesting. Petitions throwing stones and ashes, ashes all fall. I'm taking a right on Pavilion Center Drive. The right is Sig Rogage, Rogage, I can never get that right, middle school, and then the Veterans Memorial Leisure Center, which is a community center, it's owned by the city, and then they also have the Pavilion Center Pool, which is owned by the city of Las Vegas, even though it is in Summerlin. And then we also have the College of Southern Nevada, right next to Palo Verde High School, and Palo Verde High School is right there. Is school started? Don't know. My kids are in college. Don't know. So there's Palo Verde High School, and it's probably pretty much one of the only high schools in Summerlin, really. You, and it's pretty large. There's over 3,000 students. My daughter graduated last year, 2020, from Palo Verde, and it was kind of crazy last year because we know what happened. 
but um, the class sizes are huge. It's a decent school, but you gotta figure that all the villages that come to this school, you have all of Summerlin West and all of Summerlin North that go to Palo Verde High School. They really, really, really need a new high school here. I mean, yes, they have West Career Tech, but however, that's a magnet school and you have to get accepted into that magnet school. So it's very important that Summerlin, besides building all these houses, they need to start thinking more commercial items and building a school because Summerlin West has very little. I know Red Point Square Village is gonna have a little more walkability and a little more shopping, but I think when they went crazy with Summerlin West, they didn't really think about schooling because I don't know if there's any, well, there are a couple elementary schools, but what about middle school and high school? You know, where are all these elementary students gonna go? They're gonna go to one or the other, right? So this is very beautiful. Um, I'm about to hit Charleston. Um, I forget what this is, the Pavilion Shopping Center. I forget what they call this. But there's, uh, what else? There's a lot in here, Best Buy. Bed Bath & Beyond, I do believe, lots of restaurants. I'm just gonna take it left here on Park Run. I call it Canyon Point. Let's see, what do they got? Olive Garden. Uh, I can't read, Hash House, Lowe's, Wells Fargo, Ross, Marshalls, Best Buy, BJ's, Home Depot. They got it all right here. And then straight ahead is Charleston. And then right across the street is Red Rock Casino. Then if you go further down on this road, you hit downtown Summerlin. So that's why a lot of people like living in this particular village, the Arbors, just because of the close proximity to, you know, Palo Verde and Sig Road, and also all the shopping conveniences. It's, it's really nice. It's not as new as a lot of the Summerlin villages, again, because it was developed in 1996. And I would say probably done being developed 1999, 2000, I could be wrong, I don't remember specifically. But yeah, the Arbor's Village is really nice. This is called Park Run, which will lend me, which will land me on, I think, Koala Pie. turn you have mountain views to the left and right of me is one of the trail systems that cross underneath the street I mean it's just I, I can't talk about Summerlin enough to tell you how much I love this community just the feeling the vibe the greenness the maturity you know it's just beautiful anyways can you tell I love Summerlin what I'm going to do. I'm a real estate agent. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, pretty much that concludes our tour of the 89144 Summerlin zip code, part of Summerlin North, which again was the Canyons Crossing and Arbor's Villages. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about these villages and if you want more information on them. Again, I've done a video on every single one of these villages just check out my YouTube channel and I'll try to remember to post a link of each of the videos down in the description below. Um, if you are thinking about buying or selling in the Summerlin area or Las Vegas, you know who to call, right? Me, Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer seller form down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do, right? Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and what do I say? Smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.
Something as silver mind and I call it Baker's Jew. I've got me a violin and I call it Baker's Anybody's choice. I can hear your voice. Oh, oh, what I want to know. Oh. How does the song go? All right, so now we're getting back on Alta. Come here, Uncle John's band, by the blue sun. Whoops, got some things to talk about here beside the rising tide. Come here, Uncle John's band, playing to the tide. Got whoops. Please come to take your children home. Ba da ba da ba 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 da 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 